But welcome back after enjoying some spring like temperatures over the weekend. Uh, reality hits tonight for sure, uh, tracking a major nor'easter pushing up along the mid Atlantic coast right now. And uh, we're currently dealing with that wintry mix here in the Twin Tiers. It's just the leading edge of that precipitation. Conditions will continue to worsen here as we progress through the evening hours, and that mix will eventually change over to snow. And that could fall heavily at times through the overnight period, and that will uh, have a big impact on the morning commute tomorrow. Winter storm warnings remain posted for the entire viewing area. This right through the overnight period, in fact, through 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Snow will begin to taper tomorrow morning, but uh, it's not going to end completely. We'll have some leftover snow showers through the day, but it'll take a while to uh, clear up all this snowfall that we're expecting. And it's not going to be of the light, fluffy variety. It's going to be a heavy, wet, cement-like snow, and uh, that could ultimately lead to some power outages across the Twin Tiers uh, as we'll be dealing with some gusty winds as well. So a wintry mix this evening starting to get some sleet falling outside our studios right now over to snow through the overnight period. Most looking at between four and eight inches closer to that eight inch mark on the higher elevations. Winds could top 30 miles an hour. Can't rule out some power outages and then snow tapering for tomorrow morning. So uh, if you're heading out this evening, definitely give yourself extra time and if you have to take care of any errands. It's best to do them within the next hour or so because it'll just get worse here as we go through the overnight period. A heavy snow through the overnight. Notice temperatures though not even getting down to the freezing mark in many valley locations, but the intensity of that precipitation will allow for the snow to stick even though many areas will be above freezing. So here we go through the overnight period. This storm system really intensifies just off the coast. We'll be dealing with a mix over to snow here in interior sections of New York and Pennsylvania. More of a heavy rain closer to the coast, but some gusty winds on the back side of this system. And then as we go through tomorrow, a gradual improvement. And I think we even break out of some sunshine by the middle part of the week. There's that steady precipitation falling over central Pennsylvania right now. Again, we're on the very northern edge of this system. Little sleet and rain and snow combined, but look at all this still to come here as we go through tonight. Uh, very dynamic storm system. Can't even roll out some rumbles of thunder with some of that snow we're expecting later tonight. So that wintry mix in the valley, some of the higher elevations already changing over to snow. What we're expecting most between four and eight inches, but we can't rule out some localized higher amounts especially up on the hilltop. Some spots may come closer to 10 inches by the time things wear down tomorrow morning. So here we go at wintry mix tonight over to heavy snow through the overnight period tomorrow morning for the commute. The worst of it will be done, but we'll have some leftover flurries and snow showers in the air. Still some breezy conditions and then turning much better here for the mid portion of the work week. By Wednesday, we'll be looking at temperatures low and mid 40s with some sunshine and then trending colder here as we approach the weekend. Five degree guarantee for today. We forecast a high of 46. We hit 49 early this morning. Temperatures have been falling ever since. Down to around freezing tonight. That mix over to snow could be heavy overnight. 36 tomorrow as the snow winds down. Seven day forecast showing a decent day Wednesday, then a couple of rain or snow showers Thursday, and then chilly as we head into the weekend with some flurries and snow showers Friday and Saturday. Notice going through the weekend and early next week, we're below freezing for high temperatures. So again, we're just kind of at the beginning of the storm system. Stay with us through the evening. We'll have updates on Facebook and on our web page and uh, obviously have update for you tonight at 11 as new information becomes available. We have to tweak some of these snowfall totals uh, as we uh, progress through this system and, and get additional information. It's in. hard to believe that this is happening when we had such a nice weekend. You know, it's, it's catching up with us. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since we've had a decent snow and it's going to be kind of hard to manage the snow just because it's so heavy, wet and sloppy. But that's exactly what we're expecting tonight. Okay. And of course, if any school closings or delays come in tomorrow morning, we'll have them for you on the bottom of the screen. And, you know, Craig's going to pick up tracking this uh, overnight when he comes in because your morning commute could be a little messy. Absolutely. Definitely want to give yourself extra time. Won't be surprised if there's delays or even closings tomorrow. So tune in to Good Morning Twin Tears, but things will be winding down going through the morning hours. All right, Joe, thank you. Thanks, okay. Joe.